Windsor has been the place for big occasions. This weekend, it's the christening of the newest member of the royal family. But if you were hoping for more pictures like this of Archie, Mountbatten, Windsor, you will be disappointed because the Duke and Duchess of Sussex want to keep the event private. This is Harry and Meghan again showing how they want to protect the privacy of their son. But they have faced criticism for not allowing any media coverage on the day of the christening. And for some, it has opened up that debate about what events in Archie's life they can reasonably expect to keep private as a member of the royal family. Sightseers came early to Buckingham Palace to watch many distinguished arrivals for the christening of the infant prince. Christenings have traditionally been a public moment. William and Kate allowed a photographer and a TV camera to film them arriving at all their children's celebrations and told us the names of the godparents. Harry and Meghan want to keep that private too, although Meghan may have given the game away after taking two of her university friends to Wimbledon. Harry and Meghan are basically trying to draw a line in the sand. Duncan Larkham was the royal editor of the Sun newspaper. He believes shutting out the press just increases the hype around this small family event. Uh, it's disappointing for me because I really like Harry and I've known him for a long time. But it seems like there's a pettiness and a truculence since he's got married, since perhaps the news of the, their relationship became public. I think you can trace it back to then. This sort of petulance that it, over a longer period of time, it could do him a lot of harm. The fact it cost £2.4 million of taxpayers' money to refurbish their family home has also led to criticism of the couple. Parents in Windsor were generally more sympathetic towards the new mum and dad. The finance on the house deserves maybe a little more scrutiny, but in terms of the family and how they choose to bring up their kids, I think... I think that's, that's up to them. They're born into a royal family and there is a point where they will start having their own duties, but when they're young, just let them be kids. Since he was born two months ago, we've seen two photos of Archie. The couple will hope the latest official pictures they decide to release will satisfy the international interest in their son's big day. Rhiannon Mills, Sky News in Windsor.